All right, uh, how my people doing today? How my people doing today? Let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, this is Coach Will here, Mr. Will and Passion, Mr. Will involved himself. Uh, today is just a Will and Passion talks, Will and Passion podcast. Let's have a little talk. Just uh, just got a few questions with you guys. Just want to see y'all perspective. Just want to know y'all opinion about this. And uh, people might think I'm a little selfish, and some people might even think I'm a little crazy about thinking this way. But these are the questions that I do have, uh, and I just want to see what y'all think. Just to be honest. Um, hope everybody have a great day today. Hope everybody make the most of their day. Um, um, got a little time to myself, so I decided to go ahead and uh, get started with this video. So let's go ahead and get started before I go to practice. Um, the first question, uh, I really want to know, what's your take when it comes to marriage in these times? What's your take when it comes to marriage during these times? I'm talking about in 2023. What is your, what is your opinion about marriage? What you think about marriage? And just basically how you feel about marriage. Basically, uh, I'm, I'm going to go first and I'm just going to be honest. Um, I really feel like a marriage can also be a beautiful thing. It's, it can be a beautiful thing. And I'm speaking from experience because I got parents on um, 74, 73 years old. They've been married for uh, 47 years or more. They've been married for that long. And, you know, they and they have been thugging it out. You know, they have made a way to um make things work and like i said i'm pretty sure all families all marriages have problems but uh as a 32 year old i haven't saw any major problems when it came to it i mean as, even as a little kid i didn't see anything uh or, or they showed anything that they had problems so they did a good job of um not allowing me to see it if they did have any problems so yes it's a beautiful thing and like i said i'm speaking from experience i mean my parents did a great job by raising um uh, all their kids so we're all the uh, trying to be successful, trying to make an impact in the world. So I really think my parents did a great job. Now, with me, my mom was in my life more um, because um, my dad ended up losing his job. I ended up having to move to Shreveport. And the only time I was able to see him is like on a weekend and stuff like that. So my mom was the one that was nurturing. Uh, she was the one that was there each and every day. Definitely as a multi-sport <laughs> athlete, she was there each and every day. All the events, I'm talking about every day. Uh, and my dad was the one when he did come, when he was home, he was the one that installed discipline in me. How to be a man. How to say, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. You know, just, just being a man. How to shake a man's hand. You know, all those type of things. So my dad taught me a lot also. Um, both of them taught me a lot. And I'm thankful to have both of my parents in my life. And I'm not saying um, you can't be successful with just having one parent in your life. But what I'm saying is I think they did a good job of um, of showing people that they can create leaders by having a mom and a dad. But I think uh, in today's time, and I'm just going to go and just be honest, I just think in today's time, and that was back then. It was traditional back then. But in today's time, I really think it's bullshit. I just think people just get married just to, just for the show. Um, don't get me started with the corporations and the businesses and the um, government. They get paid off off the marriage, and then if the divorce ends up happening, they get money off of the divorce. Off of the divorce. Um, so, yeah, I really just think marriage is bullshit. I still feel like people still can come together and still be with each other forever without just being married, married, going through the tra traditional marriage steps. And that's just my opinion. Y'all guys just let me know what y'all think about it. But I still feel like marriage can be a beautiful thing. But these in these days, in these times, I just think it's for show. I think it's for show and just for this right here. So that's, that's just, that is my mindset about it. Uh, um, As a young man, you know, seeing my mom and daddy make a thing work yes that's one thing that i wanted to do i wanted to get married i actually thought i was going to be one of the first guys um out of my group to actually have a kid and be married just to be honest with you guys but um i'm the last out of all my friends i'm the last one out of all my friends i'm still not married with no kids 32 years old and yes i do want kids my goal is to have at least three kids so I need to start going to work. But anyway, <laughs> that's the first question, what people take on marriage. And I just basically told y'all what I think about it. On uh, the next question, the next question, you know, some people might um, might feel some type of way about it. But I just want to see what people actually think. And, you know, my perspective has changed. And like I said, I came from, I've, I've come from a home with both of my parents. But I want to see what people think about this. Can a man or woman have three kids with three different lovers and still have a great relationship when it comes to raising that child? Fuck all the other stuff. Can y'all make the relationship work to raise this child? 
honestly, back in the day, um, when I was younger, I thought it couldn't it couldn't work because you know, I just thought it couldn't work back in the day. But now that I'm getting older and I, I've experienced so much, I really feel like that's where times are actually going. And uh, I'm just speaking for myself. Um, yes, I want kids. I'm just gonna be straight up. I want kids, and um, I know the people that I want to have kids with. Um, for sure, I know the one person for sure that I want to have a child with. But the thing about it, uh. Like I said, I feel like I will do whatever it takes to end up building, continue to have a great relationship with that person, definitely when it comes to that child. I think it can work. You know what I'm saying? I think it can work where I've have a, I, I've have a child by this woman, have a child by this woman, have a child by this woman, where they still can be able to be mutual. Now, you got to be, to be honest, you got to be, you got to be mature. You got to be mature. I got to be mature. These got to be mature women. I got to be able to be a leader. I have to actually be there. I have to um, spread my time out to be able to be there for each and every child. And I would do that at the best. I would do that, to be honest. I would do that at the highest level that I can because I want the best for that kid. If I want these things, I want the best for the kid. I need to be there to support the kid and make sure that I'm showing him the right um, ethics, the right rules, you know, just the right morals, which how to be a great man. And I'm talking about masculine and also feminine side. So that, that's one thing that I've been thinking about heavily. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. I mean, I'm in a relationship right now. I love this little woman to death. And yes, I do want her to have my kids. I want her to have, have my kids. And there's other women out there that I do want to have my kids too because I feel like they'll be great women to my kids. I feel like we'll have a great partnership, great relationship, and build build something special, you know. Build something special like uh, raise this child into this world to make sure that this child is able to change this world to make this world a better place and also make this child just be a special being you know so that, that's just my intake of it yes i feel like i can have three different mothers from um, three different mothers i really feel that way baby mothers i really feel like it can work that way it just it just depends on how mature um and it's something that got to be talked about you know me, me and my girl right now we have talked about it I think we're gonna go into more depth about it um probably um later on today and probably also this weekend i mean this whole week and also this weekend we might actually make a video but it's just something i've been thinking about lately man i i, I want to know am i wrong for thinking that way and like i said i know that this might sound selfish because i don't have to go through that process the nine month process man but i will be there the best way that i can physically mentally and spiritually for that mother and also for that child so <clears throat> y'all just let me know if I'm tripping for thinking this way, but I do want to have three kids, three different mothers, and I got an idea of the mothers just to be straight up, and I feel like they'll be great mothers, and we'll be great partners when it comes to raising this child in this world. So y'all just let me know if I'm tripping, which I might be tripping, I might be a little selfish by thinking this way, but that's just that's just something I've been thinking about heavenly and um. Y'all just let me know what y'all perspective is and what y'all think about this. And let me know what y'all think about my opinion and what's your opinion when it comes to stuff like this. Um, times are changing. That's all I'm going to say. Times are changing. And uh, <clears throat> I was raised in an old tradition at home. Like I said, I had both my parents. Um, great home life. But I just feel like some things are shifting. And um, the things that they taught us, I feel like we can build up a little excuse me, build up on those things and make those things even better when it comes to um, what they installed in us. And I think they installed some great things in us. I mean, and I'm basically talking to myself, they installed some great things in me to be a, how to be a great human being, period. So regardless of what happened, I know I'm going to be a great father. I'm going to be a great leader. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to be there for those kids because that's just my responsibility. And that's just something I feel like I was built to do. So um, that's basically all I got for you guys. Man, please comment. I don't care if y'all like or subscribe. I just want y'all to comment. I really want to see y'all perspective. I want to make sure that I'm not tripping. And uh, I'm mainly talking about the ones that about the ones that are not married with no kids. That's basically 25 to 35 years old. Those are really the people that I'm talking talking to. But anybody can comment. Just let me know what y'all think about it. Um, but yeah, that's basically all I got for you guys. Y'all have a blessed day today. Make the most of your day. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Uh, let go. Be great. Don't let nobody stop you. And I always be you. I'll see y'all guys.